hi friends what's up welcome back i hope you're all having a great day so far if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed definitely subscribe if you enjoy the content because girl i feel like you're supposed to say that i never say that sh today i went to the post office and i picked up a bunch of packages i've got a bunch of goods to unbox with y'all i didn't know what this was and i had to unbox it i was like i couldn't figure out what company sent it to me i couldn't figure out literally anything except for that it came from california so i was like sounds about right but I'm pretty familiar with all the companies I work with on like a regular basis, but G-Pin sent me their newest product. So that is super freaking cool. I also have another package here to unbox with you guys. So that's going to be very fun. It's huge, like a big old box, but I'm going to do my nails. It's going to be nothing too serious, not a tutorial. I'm going to do like a full blown tutorial, but in this video, I'm trying out some new products. I just thought it'd be a good excuse for me to sit down, kick back, chill, do my nails, maybe smoke a little with y'all definitely unbox some stuff it'll be fun all right let's get into this because your girl is gonna see how fast i could do a set honestly don't even know what shape i want i'm thinking square but i'm gonna like double check and make sure i don't want a nice coffin coffin's pretty i guess i'll go for square the most indecisive person i know me the nails i'm using today i've never used i mean i've used a prey nails like all the time but these are the colored ones which i've never gotten but they were a little they were running a little sale so i decided to pick some up to try my dogs absolutely shattered the case this is what i was talking about can you see this i'm gonna go ahead and pick out all of the sizes for my nails i will say if you're somebody that's like trying to do your nails like a rough guide always go bigger and then like file it down don't like pick out a smaller nail that's just like super close to being like the right size just like not all right all my nails have been filed to size and i went ahead and like etched the inside with my drill and i just changed the sanding band on here i'm gonna go ahead and put like primer on them to like actually etch the inside and then we're gonna open up this box like are you kidding i don't this box is literally huge i'm so excited to see what's in here i'm not 100 percent sure what this is Hopefully something to smoke out of. A bunch of packing peanuts. We may very well be dealing with some glass. It's feeling thick on the bottom. Yeah, I'm willing to bet it's beaker, but it's also upside down, so hold on. Cool. This is from Lucky Goat. That's super cool. I don't have anything, like any of their pieces. This is my first one. I do have a ton of their bowls. That's like what I know them for are their slides. They're the bowls that y'all see that I have that are super fancy looking where y'all are like, what are those? Those are crazy that's so lit i feel like i didn't even know they made pieces i really only know them for their bowl pieces here's the down stem what is this an ash catcher wow the full setup rivers down here like girl the full setup yeah i was gonna say she heard you say the full setup and like i'm getting down i'm checking it out she's funny i swear she loves a good unboxing moment river is here for it so nice your girl's been needing an angled ash catcher for ever i have a few but i don't really like them that much so we'll see about her oh here's one of their signature bowls i don't know how to describe it they aren't hollow but they kind of look like a hollow bowl i don't know what the style of these are exactly but it looks like we've got this looks like a yellow slide these look more like what i know them for Oh yes, this is the exact kind of slide I use literally every day. If you follow me on Instagram, you see these all the time, like nice little up closes of these. They're so pretty. They've got such cool designs and like so many different designs and colors. That's lit. Shout out to Lucky Goat for sending that over. I'll have to give her a try here in a minute. I was about to say little mashed potato break, but Kyle was like, wow, you about, I about threw that box away and there's a whole nother slide in there, so looks like purple or blue this is one of the bowls i always want but the smoke shop near me is always sold out of it it's called the octopus bowl i think or like an it's something along the lines i think it is like i think octopus is in, is in the name how freaking beautiful time for some more potatoes i'd be pissed if i threw that away I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick and then come back and we'll get started on the nail. Does everybody that does their nails, do we all do them at the end of the night? Because it is such something that unless you're doing it, like I'm doing it right now, where you are using like a pre-colored nail, it takes so fuck. 
fucking long like it will take hours four or five hours if you're doing like a crazy detailed set but like if you were counting your time as money it's not really saving money doing your nails at home can be super fun but also super frustrating like if you spend a ton of time on a set but you don't know how to like prep your nails properly and they all pop off like two seconds later that's the worst All my nails are nice and filed. There's no like shine remaining. But with that being said, I didn't go in and like really roughly touch my nails. I'm using a Melody Susie nail drill. If anybody cares, I feel like this is really nice. On the speed of three, which is like the lowest it goes on. So very, very lightly. And I'm going in with a nail dehydrator. I really, really like this one. It's from it's from Amazon. It's the brand Marovan or Marovan. I don't know. I haven't had any issues with it. And I've had zero lifting on any of my nail sets since I started using it. So that's nice. I also think the key to success with this stuff is just doing enough to cover all of your nail and no more. You don't want like a ton, but I'll do a full video with like all my tips and tricks here soon. Then I'm going in with the primer from the same brand. I think they like came together like in a little kit. The key with this as well is just putting like the littlest amount. You don't want to like overly saturate your nails. I find it'll cause the exact opposite of what you want actually. It'll just cause your nails to pop off immediately and then I think you gotta wait like 30 or 40 seconds so I'll be back I'm excited to try this little extend gel on to the fun part I get to use my little lamp here and like cure on each nail and it's gonna be nice and fun turn in my little light on here and I like to like sit back and kind of be able to see so I can make sure there's no air pockets or anything cure for a good like 30 seconds and then if there's any excess gel sticking out I always just break it off because I swear that's the cleanest way to do this I've got four of five nails done on this hand only like flash cured after you do like this little thing for 30 seconds i have to stick them in like my actual big uv lamp all right i'm gonna go ahead and throw this in there since they're already painted i'm gonna set my little lamp to like 120 seconds which that's like more than enough i think 60 seconds is probably what's recommended but i always like to make sure the gel is beyond cured the last thing i want is uncured gel sitting on my nails for an extended period of time underneath a fake nail also if i happen to get like pieces of hair or fuzz stuck on the clear coat of like the hard gel or soft gel i'll just take a little alcohol swab and wipe it off that tends to work really well Here is what my nails are looking like. Honestly, I've had so much cleaner sets, but for my first time using soft gel, it's they're not bad. Also, it's my first time using these like pre-colored nails. I think they look pretty good. I'm gonna go wash my hands though, and then we'll really see what we're working with. After seeing my nails in like a better light, like the bright ass bathroom lights, they are so pretty. I love this like milky white light pink. It's almost like a strawberry milk, but like a jelly strawberry milk. I definitely could wear these all the time. Y'all know my favorite, like my go-to set when I don't know what I want to do. It's just like a nice milky baby pink so these are awesome and the fact that this only took me like literally maybe an hour to do and i'm filming that's pretty impressive plus i fit an unboxing in there so these are low-key the move i know they're much more expensive to have like the pre-colored nails but they're nice for like if you want to do your nails in under several hours i mean you could definitely still paint these if you wanted but I, i'm really liking these anyways thank y'all so much for chilling and doing my nails with me to end any good manicure you've got to slather your nails or should i say your cuticles and some cuticle oil trust me this is like so key to nail growth growth if you take off your nails and your nails have like not grown at all probably because your cuticles aren't that healthy or they're really dry or like you know something is going on there so try putting some cuticle oil on after you do your manicures and like I promise now let me show you guys my nails they'll look even better 
Well, my nails look pretty fucking good. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did and you want to see more content like this, make sure to drop a like. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. Join the fam. I feel like I'm talking with my hands so much more already because, like, they look that much cuter. We all know that. As soon as your nails are done, you start talking with your hands. Your hands are suddenly, like, in your pictures. Just, like, all of it. Anyways, um, thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed, definitely subscribe if you're new here. And, yeah, until my next one, peace. I love you guys. Stay safe.